because I don't know why I can't sleep. Maybe it's because I'm super excited for Halloween. Or maybe Halloween's too spooky. But I really gotta get this thing. You got me good, but what happens if I accidentally swallow a spider in my sleep? Yeah, Ryan, what happened? Hmm, I don't know. But that's why I'm gonna go ask Mom. Be right back. Ah. Mommy Moon! What's wrong, Ryan? What happens if you swallow a spider in your sleep? Um, I don't think a spider wants to go inside your mouth. No, it's true. I heard we swallow eight spiders in here in our sleep. Um, I think that's just a myth, but you know what? What if we ask the VTubers to find out for us? Hello, VTubers, anybody there? What? Who's talking? Oh, look, it's Coco. Oh, yeah. Hi, Coco. Oh, hi, Luann. Hi, Ryan. Hi, so we have a very important question. Yeah. We want to know if it's true that humans swallow eight spiders a year in our sleep. Wow, that's uh, unexpected. I don't know, but I can find out. Okay, team, today we're testing the myth that humans swallow eight spiders every year in their sleep. You four will spend the night in the sleep lab Peck's currently building. I'll monitor you from nearby to see if any spiders go into your mouths. <laughs> Yo, a sleepover. I call Top Bunk. Wait. Did we just sign up to eat spiders? Uh, well, for a silver lining, I've heard that spiders have a lot of protein. <laughs> Yuck! I don't want to eat bugs. Well, technically they're not bugs, they're arachnids. But at the same time... Well, technically no one wants to eat arachnids. Guys, guys, don't worry. I'll be watching the whole time. I'm not going to let any spiders actually get eaten. We're just gonna see if any come close. Okay, Coco, the sleep lab is ready. Oh, did you have to make it so creepy? Well, we had to make it tempting for spiders. <laughs> I am installed cameras in every corner. If a spider gets in here, we'll know. Wait, cameras? But I'm not camera ready. No time. Everyone hop in bed. I'll take my place in the observation room. Well, I'll stick around as well. I find this study engrossing. It's gross, all right. Aww. The time is uh, 12.30 a.m. All subjects currently sleeping. No spiders spotted yet. Wait! Josh is chewing on something? Josh! Josh! Spit out the... Gummies? Josh, with those in your mouth, there'll be no room for spiders. Aww. What kind of slumber party doesn't have snacks? Hand them over. Okay. The time is now 2.30 a.m. Josh has gone back to sleep and still no... <gasps> Spider! Bree! Bree! Wake up! There's a... a... Bradley? <laughs> oh, she's not seeing it at all. This is going to be great. Bradley, your pranks are going to ruin my scientific study! Okay, fine. I'll put Mr. Spider away. Uh, the time is 3.30. No sign of, oh, this is pointless. The night's almost over and I've only caught a gummy eater and a prankster. Coco, Coco, my spider detector is going off the charts. Huh? Coco crazy. Huh? It doesn't seem to be going near their mouths. In fact, it's staying as far away from them as it can. Interesting. Hmm. Now that I think about it, humans appear so big to spiders 
and they probably look more like mountains or hills than living things. Yeah, not to mention humans breathing and heartbeats and, uh, <gasps> and other sounds. Probably scare spiders off. I've heard they're very sensitive to vibrations, but there's only one way to be sure. Um, excuse me? Ah, who goes there? Sorry to startle you. I was just wondering, uh, do you ever go in humans' mouths while they're sleeping? Why, of course not. You think I want to get squished? Besides, don't you think a human would feel my tickly legs walk all over their face? Oh, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Thank you, Mrs. Spider. Please, call me Charlotte. Thanks, Charlotte. OK, Peck, call Ryan. We've got our answer. Oh, look, they're back. Hi, Coco. Did you figure out the mystery? I did. The truth is, we don't need any spiders in our sleep. Really? Are you sure? I'm Coco confident. Humans look so big to spiders, they don't like to go anywhere near us if they can help it. And when they do, they're usually frightened off by all our loud noises. So spiders are scared of us? Usually. And even when they do climb on us, their tickly legs would wake up all but the heaviest of sleepers. So not Bradley? Exactly. So, what do you think, Coco? Have we proven this myth, or have we smashed it? This myth is totally smashed. Thank you so much for all your help. Now, Ryan, now you can go to bed peacefully knowing you don't swallow any spiders. Yep. On second thought, I'm gonna take a little nap. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Mommy! Sorry, Ryan, I just couldn't resist. It's Halloween after all. <laughs> Can't believe I got pranked again with the spider. Good one, Mommy. <laughs> I know. Well, thank you for watching. Remember, or stay happy and rise up. Bye.